ano pag 1 ano na 1 150 we'll start the ano we'll start the report Thank you. Thank you. Alright, sino na ang reporter? Ma'am? Sino reporter? Ay, rinig po. Ayan. Anabo po and Gabriz, ma'am. Sige. Start na po kami, ma'am. Oh, sige. You can start now. 
Sige po, wait lang po. Ay, mali. Kita niyo po yung PowerPoint? Yes. Camera and computer energy. Okay, so um, good afternoon, Prof. Madriv, and good, good afternoon, classmates. I am Francesca Venice Anabo, and together with my partner, Ms. Amelia Gabriz, we will be reporting about camera and computer imaging. So what comes in our mind when we hear the word camera? So usually, it is something that we use to take pictures, videos, perhaps by using a phone camera, SLR, Polaroid Instax, etc. So what is really the definition of camera? Camera is a device for recording visual images in the form of photographs, film, or video signals. So tama po yung naisip natin na camera is something that we use kasi it is a device in order for us to take pictures, to record uh, films, videos, and etc. Below, you can see examples of what the camera look, looks like currently and how we use it. Next, we have the evolution of camera. So, so ko lang po ipakita sa inyo yung changes and development na nangyayari sa camera from the beginning up to the current. Up to the current. Oh. Yes po. I will not discuss it. Yes, Pa. I will not discuss it one by one because I will be discussing a brief history of camera. So in the beginning, way back to the ancient Greek and Chinese, uh, they used a very simple optical device called a camera obscura. Camera obscura are used to project real-life scenes on a surface or wall. Although the early cameras were a huge hit, there was no way of freezing an image in a photograph until the 19th century. So this is what the camera obscura looks like. As you can see in the picture, suggestion po natin today, if itutulad natin ito, it looks like a projector. There's a box, then yung subject nasa labas, then they use sunlight to project the subject. And kung mapapansin nyo po, baliktad yung image na nasa loob. Baliktad yung napoproject ng image. So despite its very basic design, the camera obscura has been used for thousands of years. Next, we have the first photograph. So during the 1800s, Britain and France were racing to get early photographic technology. Unfortunately for Britain, no na France because in 1827, the cipher Neops took the first ever photo. Then, 11 years later, Louis de Guerre took the first snap of human being in his peak, Boulevard du Temple, and he called it the daguerreotype photographic processes. In continuation, around the same time, British inventor William Henry Fox Talbot developed the calotype process and with it, the first ever photo on paper. American company called Kodak changed the photographic process forever. So kung ang French ang nauna sa pag-take ng first ever photo and first pick of a human being, nauna naman ang Britain sa paglagay ng photo sa paper with the calotype process of Talbot. And with that, yung photographic process na developed ng both France, which is the daguerreotype, and Britain, the calotype process of Talbot, ay nabago because of Kodak. Next, we have the birth of mass photography. So in 1884, American inventor George Eastman's invention was the photographic roll, one of the first to be used in a camera. The easy-to-develop photographic process helped his company, Kodak, to create the first mass-produced cameras ever sold. Because in 1900s, Kodak's classic brownie camera was a huge hit, sold millions, and continued to be popular until the 60s. 
And with that, Kodak kickstarted the birth of mass photography as we know it. So George Eastman is the founder of the Kodak Company. Yung Kodak, yung po yung pinaka-famous na camera na kiyala po ng mga una pang generation sa atin. Siguro yung parents natin familiar sila with the Kodak family, Kodak camera. Here we have a sample picture of what the classic brownie camera looks like. So yan po yung pinakaunang Kodak camera na na-develop or na-invent ni George Eastman. And kung mapapansin po natin, yung camera, meron siyang kahawig dun sa pinakita kong picture kayo na sa evolution. Let's now go to the SLR. So after the World War II, a new type of camera burst onto the scene. The single lens reflex camera, or as we usually call it, the SLR. Until now, we are very familiar with SLR cameras kasi hanggang ngayon, trend pa rin siya and ginagamit especially ng mga professional photographers. Actually, kahit hindi professional photographers, gumagamit nito as long as yung mga mahilig magpicture, bumibigay sila nito kasi maganda yung quality. So by the 50s and 60s, SLR became the go-to camera for expert photographers because as technology developed, lumiit ng lumiit ang cameras. So scientists and journalists, mas gusto nilang ginagamit yung SLR kasi mas mabilis siyang bitbitin and gamitin. Brands like Nikon and Canon started to dominate the camera market and continue to be popular today. So as you can see sa picture, hindi ganyan yung SLR na familiar tayo today. Kasi um, because that model ay yung sinuunang model ng SLR. Ako, uh, may nabutan akong ganyang cameras dito sa bahay namin. And as I can say, mabigat siya compared sa SLR na meron tayo ngayon. Tsaka nilalagyan pa siya ng film. The film pa siya. Next, we have the instant camera snaps. In 1943, Edwin Land invented the instant camera. In today's generation, we know the instant camera as the Polaroid camera or the Instax. First time in history that consumers could snap and instantly develop film for themselves. In 1965, Polaroid Swinger ca camera was a huge hit with consumers and helped make the Polaroid one of the best-selling cameras of all time. So we have two examples of instant camera. The first picture yung sa taas, yan yung mas kiyala natin na ito ng Polaroid, ca Polaroid camera. Then yung nasa iba ba, yan yung isa pang klase ng instant camera that we usually see sa movies. Yung mga may scenes na sinuunang panahon, yung malalakas sa flash, tas, ano siya, um, yung madalas nakastand siya sa mga film. And we can also see Edwin Land holding a Polaroid camera and the picture that he has just taken. Diba ganyan yung um, concept ng Instax na meron tayo ngayon, mga Polaroid camera. Next, we have the digital revolution. The first ever digital camera was invent invented by young engineer Steve Sasson. His first photo took 33 seconds to record onto a cassette. 1976, U.S. military found the first real-life application for digital cameras. So U.S. military... Ang first real-life application nila sa digital camera is through satellite technology. The media used it to broadcast events. So during this time, the DSLR camera started to take off. And at the right side, we can see Steve Sasson with the first model of digital camera. So malaki-laki yung first model ng digital camera. Yung digital camera na familiar tayo yung maliit lang, yung handy lang na bibitbit. Bagaan lang. Last, we have the camera phone. So in 1997, a tech entrepreneur, Philip Pan, sent an image of his newborn to more than 2,000 contacts using cellular radio, the first image sent via phone. Sharp was the first tech giant to release a camera phone, kicking off the never-ending race to produce the best high-end camera phone. So the use of phone as cameras is one of the things that in the 21st century is often used. Diba, everyday halos, lahat tayo we use our phone camera to take a picture. Pwede na ang sarili natin, may ibang tao, um, the nature, the view, or anything random. Lalo na sa messenger, diba, halos lahat, ng ta lahat tayo nagtitake ng pictures everyday. Tapos isasend, na isasend natin siya kahit kanino or kahit isang pictures lang for the whole day. Tsaka as you can see, 
yung phone cameras natin before, di ba isa lang siya? Yung isang bilog lang yung nasa likod ng phones natin. Pero now, as nag-develop siya, paramihan na yung cameras na nasa likod kasi mas, mas maganda na yung quality. Ngayon, we have four cameras sa isang cellphone or three cameras. So that's the end of our discussion about the brief history of cameras. Let's now continue with how cameras influence art. So first we have photography. Photography is the process of recording an image, a photograph on light sensitive film, or in the case of digital photography, via of digital electronic or magnetic memories. So photography is the first thing na may isip natin pag camera ang usapan. In today's generation, mas marami ng tao ang ginagawang work ang pagiging isang professional photographer. Siya kahit hindi mga professionals, tayo as tao, di ba mahilig tayo magpicture ng magpicture, tas kinakarir natin to the point na super ganda ng photo natin. That can also be called as photography regardless kung anong gamit natin as camera. Tsaka the picture that we took is a form of art kasi madalas ginagawa natin lahat para maganda yung picture. Sometimes in-edit pa natin. Here are some examples of what photography looks like. We can see the photographers and their subjects. So makita natin kung paano nila tinitake yung pictures, kung ano yung gamit nila. Yung ibang cameras, they have lenses pa para mas maganda yung quality. Ayan. Here we have... An example of the results of the pictures that the photographers took. We can see na bongga talaga yung mga pictures and some in edit talaga to enhance the quality of the picture para pleasing and mas ma-appreciate na mga nakakakita. And that is art. Kasi di ba, photographers usually wait for the right timing para ma-capture yung moment para mas maganda rin. Saka buwis buhay ang mga photographers para lang makakuha ng magandang picture. So as you can see, we have their people, things like car, place, um, animals, as subjects. Saka if mapapansin, hindi sila pantay-pantay when it comes to color or yung mood. Iba mas matingkad, iba mas colorful, iba naman black and white. Next Actually, what they are, ano, they are uh, shooting is the, ano, the nature. No? Yung mga nature ang kinukunan nila parang maganda. Yes po. Okay, um, next we have cinematography. cinematography. Cinematography is the art of making motion pictures. So we are somehow familiar with the concept of motion pictures. Motion pictures do not really move. Di sila gumagalaw. The audience is shown 16 to 24 pictures that are not moving per second. We use cameras in taking pictures of our chosen subject, then we compile para pag pinlay yung result is nagalaw yung picture. This is an example of motion pictures. So there are 12 pictures dyan kung saan may tao na nakasakay sa horse. Tapos pagkasamahin niyang 12 pictures na yan sa, let's say, sa loob ng 2 seconds, then it will make an illusion na natakbo yung horse. So gumagalaw siya. So that is motion pictures. Yeah, Yes, po. Last influence of camera in arts is camera arts. Camera arts is a genre of cinematography that unites the creative efforts of the director, set designer, and cameraman in the planning and shooting of motion pictures or a television film. So yung camera arts, yan yung pinakaalam ng masa. Yan yung mga kadalasang nakikita natin sa TV like movies, teleseries, cartoons, news, etc. So under camera arts, we have video arts and digital arts. Video arts is an art form which relies on footage captured from various sources such as television and personal recordings. So yung video arts, yan yung mga videos na nakikita natin sa television. Yung mga nabanggit po kanina, yung mga examples na nakikita sa television. Tapos sa personal naman is, kala natin yung mga videos na nakikita natin na hindi siya considered as art. Kasi madalas iba trip-trip lang tayo, but kahit personal videos yun, as long as ilagyan natin ng effort or creativity, that is considered as art. A good example for this yung mga vlog na very trendy ngayon. 
kahit personal video siya, that is considered as video arts kasi we will post it in YouTube kung saan mapapanood ng maraming tao at yun important talaga yan kasi ine-edit natin yung mga videos, pictures, may nagsasama-sama at talagyan pa ng color ng sound effects and designs so nagiging creative rin tayo talaga para mabenta sa tao yung vlogs natin. So last, we have digital arts. As you can see, blanco siya kasi it will be discussed by my co-partner, co -partner, Ms. Amelia Gabriel. So you may now take the floor. Okay, thank you, Ms. Anna Bo. So, um, uh, afterwards, uh, we will have our picture taking kasi medyo nag-red na yung ano ng battery ko kasi wala akong pagsasakang dito. Okay, so, uh, ano, uh, mag-picture taking muna tayo for that and dance. Um, Miss Neverio? Okay, so, okay. Uh, pwede yung tama itong ano, itong, itong ano natin. Itong presentation ni Miss Neverio. Pwede yung ano, tawag yung presentation. Thank you. 
pero por todo lo que no no ya la la pasa a que hay que no ir por ya ya la cuando no tenemos de ir cuando no tenemos de ir y voy voy a mirar la cuenta de la hora de ir la mía me dice preferir si no sé si yo me voy a ver en la cámara o también me lo digo na 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 que la la cami cuando cuando no me 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 Ginagawa like photography, cinematography, camera arts, tapos sa digital arts, no? So, I think I know siya na 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 siya na
makikita mo talaga yung mga pixels. So, yung kabila naman, Victor Graphics na inaano natin ngayon. So, malinis siya. Malinis siya. Yan. So, ang Victor Graphics po, uh, ginagamit siya ng lines, shape, at ang mas ginagamit dito yung pixels, yung box, na i-connect-connect siya to form an app. So, ayan yung example ng graphics. So, may kita nyo ulit yung pixels. Yan. Next po. Ayan. So, example po ng Victor Graphics. Ayan. So, pwede, dyan, pwede nyo pong, pwede po kayong gawa ng Victor Graphics sa, sa, so, sa Square Token. Ayan. So, sa, sa Adobe Illustrator, sa Sketch. Pwede ka pong download sa computer nyo kung gusto nyo mag-drawing ng Victor Tab. So, next po. Digital photography. Art sila sa digital or conventional camera. Yan yung kanina, yung, cam yung discuss ni Miss Anna Bo kanina. The photographer are digital or related to the computer. So, so dito po sa digital photography, ang artist, ang artist or yung photographer ay pwede niyang edit or lagyan ng special effect yung nakunan niya sa camera. So, that, tulad yun ang binanggit ni Miss Anna po kanina. And dito sa digital photography, ginagamit ko dito yung dito, may ko natin sa mga events, Ayan, so pag edit nila, like sa wedding, anniversary, birthday. So, next po. Ayan, so examples po na digital photography. So, pinitsyon po yan through camera, then in-edit po siya sa computer, digital computer. Ayan. So, software that can be used. Ayan, yung Adobe Photoshop. So, hindi din po sa Canva. Next is digital photo manipulation. A process to change an image to make more attractive or give a different view from the original one. So, dito naman po sa photo manipulation ay hindi binabago. So, po, dinadagdagan siya, transform siya, or ina-adjust ang photo para para daw po yung photo ay maging better. And for, in, for entertaining people. So, dito sa photo manipulation, it is basically for advertisement or process. So, for example, pa next po. For example, sa makikita natin yan sa mga keyboard, poster, newspaper, magazine, sa ads. So, ayun po makikita nyo uh, sa magazine. Yan, picturean po yan. There yan para maging magazine. So, malinaw po yung Digital photo manipulation, classmate. Yes, po. So, and thank you. So next po. And so dito naman po tayo sa digital painting. Digital painting is an already established art medium. It's Medyo sa computer, a graphic thing, tablet, and so forth. The painting and drawing techniques, stylus, the graphic and graphic tablet to create 2D painting within a digital art software. So, digital painting is a type of digital art. Art form in which traditional painting techniques So, ang ibig sabihin, ang digital painting ginagamit din, din, gumagamit din ng traditional painting. Such as um, watercolor, oil pastel, 
pencil, etc. Pero, ito sa um, computer, ina-apply, ina-apply ang, uh, ina-apply gamit ang digital tools sa computer. Ayan. So, ayan. Um, examples po ng digital painting. Ano yung makikita niya sa screen? And, uh, gina ginawa po yan through Adobe Photoshop and Adobe okay po. Next po. Next is the 3D link. So, it's a technique in the computer graphics producing a 3D digital presentation of any object or surfaces. So, so again, so makikita po natin ang result, result of 3D modeling sa mga movies, yan, animation, video games, so architecture and commercial advertisements. So, ang 3D modeling daw po ay ginagamit siya sa paggawa ng mga characters na, ma na makikita natin sa movies and uh, sa mga animations. So, and of course, may kahalagan din po ang 3D modeling sa architecture. So, para makagawa ng floor plan. Floor plan. So, may nakapagsabi po sa akin na ang 3D modeling daw po ay mahirap. And kinakailangan daw po siya, kinakailangan din po dito ng enough time dahil may hirap daw po siya to perfect. Ayan, so may kita po nyo yung 3D modeling dyan na nasa screen. Next po. is website design. Used to mean creating website, desktop browser, it is displayed on the internet. And so, website design, so, website na, design naman po is kapag uh, may page ka or website na ginagamit for business or mga important announce, announcement. So, syempre, gusto natin magkaroon po ng magandang view. Colorful, colorful yung page natin or yung website natin. So, naglalagay tayo or nag -e edit tayo ng logo or mga effects ng mga design para maganda tignan at entertaining ang website natin. Okay, next po. So, importante pong lagyan ng... Uh, in sa website po because when we when your audience visit your website it will be attracted to the audience and magkakaroon siya ng positive impact so example po ng uh, ng website design kaliwa um pwede din po yan sa facebook yan. so facebook sa mga ads ayan so, uh, matagawa din po natin yan through Pandora and then sa WordPress. Okay. And so, this is digital games. Based on advanced computer and internet, no. virtual platform, the games which let, let individuals inter interact with each other more. So, isa rin yung, isa rin ang mga laro sa so website design na ginagawa, na ginagawa sa computer. So, sa mga games na nilalaro natin, may makikita po tayo part dyan. So, kasi maglalaro ng mga ML, ganyan. So, mga design na ginagawa through the use of computer. So, either online or offline. So, tinatawag siyang digital art. So, and digital games, 
ay isang paglalo ay isang interaktong sa paglalo yes. so kapag maganda yung graphics graphic design bigla nyo ang mga player na maglaro and so example po na uh, games sa mobile legend so may mga magandang graphics po siya so yung piano tiles and ml etc so digital games meant to provide entertainment to all players so magagawa magagawa po natin yan sa maya then next po next but not the least the animation it's an art of making a motion picture from a series of stick drawing so animation is a form of digital art may nag-focus sa drawing moving images so mga sa mga characters so dito po sa animation so kapag gumagawa po tayo ng animation ay kita po natin siya kadalasan sa mga movies and film anim yan example po ng animation is like story frozen and uh Tom and Jerry yan so sa animation drawing images and moving images pwede kapag form tayo ng Toy Story, at ah, tayo ng story, true story. Ayan. So, example po, ayan, example po ng uh, animation. So, alam ko po, pinapano ito ng, pinapanood ito ng mga bata. Ayan, nahilig sila sa mga sa Mickey Mouse. Ayan. Ayan, software that can be used. Example po ng apps na magagamit natin is Autodesk Maya and Moho Pro. Next po. Ayun. Um, salamat po sa pakikinig and alam ko po uh, naintindihan nyo. I hope naintindihan nyo. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, naintindihan. No? So that is the different types of computer uh, digital, uh, computer digital images, no? So, ayan, uh, ano, you have discussed about vector graphics and the digital photo manipulation, the digital painting, the demodeling, the website, uh, the website design, and also the animation. I hope everybody had understood the lesson. And... Put this in your mind and I will not let you ano, do, do the application, but you have to research some of the, ano, of the cameras, no? some of the different types of digital uh, painting so that kahit isa lang, no? ilagay ninyo sa inyong a portfolio suit. No? Kailangan may mailagay kayo sa inyong portfolio. Parang at least when I'm going to check your portfolio no, on the finals, that is an additional to your grades. No? So, uh, the reporters today, uh, congratulations. I congratulate uh, all of you uh, for doing a, a job well done. Uh, you have research. You have uh, researched some of the topics that was being discussed. And then uh, I hope you can give a short quiz soon. You know, at a 10 item quiz. Yes, for ma'am. Thank you for ten item quiz, no? So report should be uh, should be given to the Google Classroom so that I can see the uh, uh, your report and then this will be added in your final examination. Huh? So 
please uh, do the ano uh, the the ano uh, the quiz, and then uh, you let somebody ano uh, um uh, you send it through the Google Classroom, and then I will be the one to give the quiz to your ano uh, to your classmates. Ma'am, she's me po. Yes, you're very young. May, ano po, po ma'am? May nagawa na po kami yung quiz sa report oh, sige, po oh, niya. Sige, oo. Uh, sige. You can, ano, oh, po. ipopost ninyo na tapos so that your classmates can, ano, can take the, the ano, the, the quiz. Yes po, thank you po. Pero you have to place it also in the Google Classroom so that uh, uh, I can see it. Yes po. Sige, thank you, no? Kasi malapit na maglobat ng aking ano, nagiinit kasi ang cellphone ko yung pinagawa ko sa ano, uh, dito sa, sa sa mall. Kasi kanina hindi ko mabuksan. Muntakit ako ng central office tapos uh, tawag dun. Pag ano ko, 100 yung ano kasi na i ano ko. Kumbaga bago ako umalis na, na i-charge ko. Tapos pagdating ko sa, ano, sa Metro Point, galing sa Central Office, sa DepEd, ang init, nag-init, tapos hindi ko mabuksan. Yung nga pumunta ako dito sa, ano, dito sa mall, parang pina, ano, yung, ano, pinabuksan itong Samsung na, ano, na, na cellphone ko. Ewan ko kung bakit nag-init ito. Siguro marami yung nasa loob. So, siguro mag-ano ako parang at least uh, hindi mag-init. Ngayon, nag-iinit na naman tapos ano na, tawag doon, malapit na mag So, thank you very much for listening the reports of your classmates and then uh, I'm going to dismiss the class. So, goodbye, ano, um, to all of you. And then, you make an activity so that, ano, uh, maybe you will have your quiz now. Anabo can, ano, uh, you can, ano, you can give the, ano, the test, Francis. Yes, po. Uh, sino yung kasama mo, ano, Benis? Miss Gabris. Gabris. Oh, sige, ano, uh, i-ano ninyo, magbigay na kayo ng, ano, ng test. So, thank you, thank you very much. Huh? Bye, ma'am. Bye. Okay. Thank you, po. Okay. Bye, ma'am. Thank, thank you, po. Thank you, po, ma'am.